Hello, it's Pink Poodle 2 here. This is Priscilla, the East End Poodle. No, she's not the East End. Oh, she's the West End Poodle, aren't you, Priscilla? So, there's Priscilla, the West End Poodle. And Maisie, the East End Poodle. And together, we are Pink Poodle 2. And today, we're going to be... I should really put my witchy hat on, but it's a bit hot today. I'm a, bit, a little bit hot, so I've put my hat on. I'll be a bit, a bit too hot. But um, we are doing one of my twenty boxes, which is the um, Fray's Cauldron box. Fray's Cauldron is an alternative box, and it comes in a bag like this. And it's a resident UK witch, Freya, and her husband. They they put that on there. Well, I do look. They play that on there. Um, they do this box, it costs £27 a month and I really enjoy it, it's very different to my witch casket which I love as well but because they're different it's really good, they don't say the same things all the time or anything so it's really cool. They have different takes on it, you know, different witches, different things. So we open it up and it says here, yeah. it says, thank you Jean, have a magical day, blessings Freya. That's really nice that they do that. So we have a little sheet sheet here and it tells us about what's in the box but also um, October the moon correspondence. There's a super full moon on the 17th of October. Uh, and then we have some information about smoky quartz. Wormwood. Now I actually um, grow this out in my back garden. Wormwood. Wormwood or what is another one? It's close to, what is the other one? Mugwort. They're very close to one another. But I've got wormwood out in the garden actually. I've got quite a lot of it growing. Um, so it's about that. We'll come to that later. And it says magical things you can do in October. For some of this month, it's Witch's New Year month by Samhain. It's a month of protection, honouring those who have gone before and in the work, release, divination and transformation. Create a sense and all are displaying the photos of your grandparents, the people that have inspired you and that have passed away. I do that on Samhain. I put the pictures of people on the um, altar. Um, you can set a place for your ancestors at Wales Eve, but I always put pictures on the altar instead. Carve a pumpkin, which I do. <clears throat> um, similarly, light the window to guide the ancestors to you. Apparently, I don't need to have that sort of thing. That I, apparently, this busy house is a beacon for him anyway. Apparently, this is what I got told. So, um, <clears throat> do a release ritual to discard emotional baggage. Use your favourite divination tool. We do a fresh protection manuet. Meditate. Place pumpkins, apples. Gold seeds, nuts, and leaves in your altar. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, yeah, so it says to work, you know, create a hearty pumpkin soup or pumpkin pie. Make apple and cinnamon tarts. That sounds good. Yeah, so there's that. So we'll get to the other bits before that. And then we've got what's in your box. So we are now entering my favourite time of year. I love autumn and of course this means we are on the road to Halloween or Samhain if you celebrate the Sabbaths. As October is this month of the ancestors we are focusing on ancestral magic and a bit of Halloween thrown in for good measure. Whether our ancestors practice witchcraft or not, they are all powerful people who achieve great things through their lives. Altars, are, after all, did they not achieve great things you would not have been you. Working with our ancestors does not mean you give them a pass in our lifetime, but those from many, many years ago, our boxes help us to draw on magical energy for ancestors and empower your own spells, rituals and daily life. We have so much to thank them for and don't have the well when the vowel fins on the thirty first to offer thanks to our ancestors. It's a bit like um Day of the Dead, isn't it? They do that. And like it shows you on like it's a children's brand of Disney, it's Coco, it shows you on that. Um whatever 
very they lived in, we should all give thanks for uh, our gifts and what they do. Simple writing a note saying thank you to all that you've done for me to guide me and fold the note up and burn it at the cauldron will send a message out to the universe. Oh, that's a good idea. I thought to do that. What I was going to say was, I forgot now. Yeah, my parents always said, for some reason, do not cast spells and do not. And I, why would they say that to me? But they knew something I didn't know even then when I was younger. Because they used to say, they were going about like burning incense and they're like, you better not be doing all you shouldn't be doing that. Like, like, as if like it were, they knew, I don't know. So it took me, I thought it took me a long time to actually, you know, I've denied things for a long time. So, right, so, um, yeah. The first one here, it says, Freya's Cauldron, Wormwood. Here you go. Wormwood, right? Um, not for consumption. Um, um, I can go and get some my dried wormwood and show you what it looks like again. Sorry, I went down to the garden to pick some. Um, what? Now they're saying this is mugwort and not a um. Uh, yes, I think you can see the difference. This is um wormwood that I've dried that's been um growing out in my garden. You can see the leaves are slightly different to the leaves on the um, mugwort. So that's mugwort. And this is my dried wormwood. So yeah, I got that anyway. <coughs> and so anyway, we're talking about mugwort, aren't we? Where is it? Not mugwort, um, wormwood. So this is the same as this. I've got loads of it outside. So it's a different color, but um, this is definitely wormwood. I'll check it again. I did check it before I actually um, uh, dried it, but um, we'll check it again anyway. But uh, oh, it's got so warm all of a sudden. Just melt with me, honestly. Let's see if you can tell. I'm not saying white sage bush, and I know for a fact it isn't white sage bush. So, um, yeah, so this is what this looks like as well. This is like what I've dried, and this is that. So, all right, so let's read about it instead of me keep going on about it. This month we have included Wormwood as it's a nicely fits in with our ancestral box. This considers to be one of the most magical ancient herbs. It has long been associated with powerful women and has a rich history of using magic rituals and medicinal purposes. Wormwood has been used in magical purposes for luring love, cleansing, protection from the ancients and evil spirits and divination. As usual, this leaflet comes with some herbs info um, that can be used in numerous ways. They can be burnt in the cauldron, scattered around the water or placed in a bowl if you like to keep things tidy they are a valuable ingredient of spell bags and feel feeling puppet dolls herbs can be also added to magical oils you can use to empower your spells and rituals right so <clears throat> I'll read a bit more about it I, like i said like uh, there's definitely oh, i've got so much wormwood growing out there now i don't know why i've, I've got mugwort as well but um you know, I decided to, um, I think I must have got, I don't know, but it's growing out in my garden quite a bit. It's the first year it's grown, really, like wormwood. The catastrophical name, Artemisa of Stan, no, I don't know how to say that word. A delirious perennial plant with highly aromatic green grey foliage. Native to um, North America, the temperature temperate regions of euthanasia naturally in Canada and some northern United States. I don't know why, I must have bought some um, seeds. So it corresponds with fire, air and earth, planets, Mars, Mercury and Saturn, Zodiac, Ariel, Ariel Gemini and Virgo. Psychic abilities, divination, love, protection, calling spirits, luck. Caution can cause toxic smoke, avoid burning indoors. <clears throat> psychic abilities burn the leaves to clear the psychic channels. Divination burn as incense during divination to clear thinking and perception. 
sort of protection with what with with the use of mugwort in a cleansing stick to clear negative energies. Wrap a small bunch of tra in a transparent paper and carry it with you as an amulet toward negativity. Sprinkle around the house and hang in windows and doors and ward off evil spirits and disease. Use protection. Yes, I have got it hanging up in the middle room at the moment. And there is some, I think there must be some in the um, fairy room as well. Love, tie a piece of paper with the word love and write around a twig, put it under your bed. Call in spirits so they can both banish and attract spirits. Luck, hang wormwood at the entrance of your home to attract wealth. I might do that actually for Paul. <laughs> it's compounds can produce toxic effects, so do not use without medical supervision. Even a low dosage can be toxic when taken internally. So also burn skin only. Use a lotion given by a practical doctor. So, yeah. So, can't really take it unless you like get proper advice on it. But I'll grow it and, yeah. So that's, well, it's interesting to know that I actually do grow wormwood and muggle. Right, so then, well, then we've got a spell bag. Which is here. <clears throat> and this is a spell kit for this month. It's is a fresh old um, protection spell um, perfect for the coming year of Halloween. Halloween celebrations can can be used at any time of the year when you feel you need it. You can also cast it on the full moon to keep protection active. So we've got this, and it says you have to. Um, I've already put a, a thing aside for it. Um, boil it in in a saucepan. Pour two bottles. Use the bottle you already can into. Bring that to the boil and reduce the heat. When the water is simmering, add the herbs. Use intuition how much you use. Don't forget to write down the amounts you've used as you go. Allow the herbs to steep and simmer in the water until water is reduced by half. Leave to cool, put into, strain through a muslin cloth into a jug. At this point, there is a couple of ways you can use the liquid. You can wipe over thresholds and decant the liquid into a spray bottle. You can spray around thresholds, windows and door frames. Wipe, spray, intent and... Yeah, but well, I'm going to do that for sure. Because I've already earmarked something for that. So, oh, it's really hot, isn't it? It's really, I'm hot, I think, because I've got a sweat, um, a sort of jumper thing on, and it's quite hot for that. And it's too cold to wear a t-shirt, but it's a bit sweaty. I feel a bit sweaty. Is it just because my middle age is catching up with me now? I got a cold sweat, it's very cold. <laughs> I think it's my old age. Right, then we have a beautiful quartz tamposa tumble. I can't say it, tumble stone. As usual, there's info on the sheet at the back of the moon current this month, beer in the month is over the dates, blah, blah, blah. Right, so um, let's find uh, about this beautiful stone. It says grounding, removing. Negative energies, beautiful, isn't it? Um, energy stabilizer, cleanse, purify, energy field. Um, yeah, grand in meditate with smoky waltz. Removing negative energies, energy stabilizer, cleanse and purify and protection. This is really pretty though. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? I don't know if you can because of the sun. See if you can see it like it's what it says it doesn't see and it supports but it's like got like this smokiness about it it's got some like indentations in it as well like i bet this is really beautiful as a rough stone as well you've got like little bits of whatnot in there can you see i don't know if you can see it ah yeah, it's a lovely stone, really pretty. 
show that start. Then we have our spell candles. Spell candles, I can't speak today, can I? As usual, we've included a black candle for the new moon spells, a white candle for the full moon spells, and a purple candle for you to use at Halloween. So, we used to get four candles, but now we get three. It's beautiful purple, that. I love that purple. Smart candles. Why wouldn't they smell anything but candles? It's still on me, isn't it? Then Hello Pumpkin in Animal Mug. So it's got a new, new mug. It's really nice. It's a, a tin mug, I think. So it's on both sides. So we'll just do that with it. Um, if you don't need another mug, fill it with the herbs and place on your altar and use for crystals. I'm going to make one into a candle, so I might do a video on that. Okay, yeah, you can do, can't you? Yeah, that's true. I, I've got loads of mugs, but I, I, I quite like, I, I have things where I want to drink from certain mugs, you know. Then we've got ancestral rice. Now this is a new thing, this is the second time I think we've got ancestral rice. Looks like that. Rice is association with abundance that can be used in spell casting to increase productivity and intent. And it says here, rice is produced during a ritual by resident rich Freya. Well, actually, it's me, and I'm the only one here. Magical rice is a very powerful ingredient to use in spells and rituals, and also very easy to use. If you can be scattered in place in a bowl on the altar, it can be added to spell jars and charm bags. Basically, you can use most ways to use herbs, except for sticking in candles, probably as you could end up a bit messy. I will go through the updates and all my findings, rice is great for abundance and soaking up negativity. Unwanted spells you can feel might might have cast you. This label on the back of the packet is giving you how to use it. This rice has been created to help to draw energy from your ancestors to empower, strengthen your spell ritual. Okay. What's that? Then we've got uh, dressing fryers, candle dressing oil, and for ancestral magic. Uh, another of my own creations is powerful oil. Create feels very nice. Help to connect you with your ancestors and draw on your knowledge, so you can. Anoint a candle, dropping or two in the spell bag and jars. So there's that. Very nice. And then we've got Selwyn Herbrand, another phrase called in creation is just for this box. This is not the same not the same as the one on sale on the website, so it's an Xbox exclusive. Using this in your celebration spell around Halloween time, whether you do or not. Yeah, it's great lady using it up. I have them all fresh in my garden as well. I don't know what else is in there. Let me have a look. I don't know what's this. I wish I knew what some of these <laughs> what some of these things were, but um yeah, so um uh yeah, so same thing but you can use it. Oh it says on the back how to use it, um be using your own or to scatter your auto place in a bowl, empower your magic for chosen intent. It can also be added to mojo and try and bad magical oils, use as offering and a few do not ingest. So that <clears throat> then we have the Salwin Tile Autumn. I love these that they do these um things. 
I didn't realize it was. Oh, oh, it's got a little secret back. I didn't realize it had one of them at the back. So, you know, it's like a little. It's got that on the back. I love the way it smells. So, there's that. This is an auto tile, another exclusive from my workshop. Has been created by Brian, that I've got a husband. And he's double sided with this on um, Stalin on the back. And it's an excellent place on your altar around the time of Sabbath. And even do not um, you can connect with the energies and power around that time. Yep. Then we've got a black bat candle holder, which I'm glad to get in these because I've got a couple of these different shapes, and so it really helps me the spell candles. And then you've got a book from the um, thingies, and yeah, so it says, I hope you enjoy unpacking your box. And um so yeah so that is our um box for this month very interesting some some things to um think about um i certainly will be doing some of the stuff so we got the tile for the altar we've got some um uh, ancestral candle dressing oil some herb blend some magical rice blend we've got some dried wormwood now i showed you what it dries before it goes like that it's really weird because like this is mugwort i don't know if it's any different because you've got like the same little oh no you haven't have you got the same little doobies on there i don't know but there is, there is a a clear difference between mugwort and um, wormwood. The leaves are different, I think. Are they though? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, well, I, well, it's come up mugwort. But I thought this was wormwood, but this is definitely wormwood. But anyway, I don't know why I'm yapping about that. That's beside the point. We've got our spell candles. We've got a lovely Hello Pumpkin mug. So I'm putting bits in because I don't want to lose them. I've got lots of white peanut pucking things. You just put these in the um, what do you call it? And they just disintegrate because they're made from starch. So that's much better. We've got our spell, our spell bag. We've got our little bat. And we've got our swipe port. I don't know where that's from. We've got a smell of quartz as well. There. There's that. And then we've got our things for our um, uh, oh, I've got my school for our spell book or um, as, uh, um, yeah, our grim or whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, so we've got all that. And that is um, the Friars Calls and Practical Magic Box. So that's brilliant. Thank you to Freya for that. Appreciate that. Um, it's night been and like you can, if you belong to the um, like the, the group, then you can go on to the um, ask questions and things like that. So if you're not sure about things, you can do that. And um, yeah, I li I like I like Freya's calls a lot. I've got a um, real little soft spot for them. So anyway, I hope everybody stays safe and well and is enjoying this sunshine because we've got a nice bit of sunshine and I hope, um, yeah. Thank you for joining us. If you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. I do do two alternative boxes a month and um, yeah, thank you for watching. If you'd like to subscribe, that would be fantastic. If you don't, that's fine too. If you'd like to give me a pause up or if you want to be a pause down, it's up to you. If you've got a criticism about me, please write it down and I'll see if I can do anything to make it any better. Is that fire? Sorry. <clears throat> God, my eyes are going a bit funny. Anyway, take care and always remember it is what it is and it ain't what it ain't. Until next time, a little bit of rewind. It is what it is and it ain't what it ain't. Until next time, take care, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching. Mwah.